Hi, welcome back to Heaven Airs London. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a good week so far. It's very cold in London town. It is minus one to about minus four degrees, but I personally absolutely love it. It's snowing and it's so pretty. And it reminds me of those um, children's books that we used to read when we were younger, which would have a depiction of um, 20th century or 19th century England, you know, with the horse-drawn carriages and, you know, people with their hats and coats and boots and, oh, the kids playing around. I, I absolutely love the snow. I know a lot of people are going to hate me for saying that because it's cold, guys. It is cold. But, um, yeah, compared to other places like Norway, which is minus 30 degrees, yeah. <laughs> we're quite lucky but um yeah i absolutely love i love the snow so um yeah let's get into the video so i really want this channel to be more than just about beauty and makeup as i alluded to in one of my previous videos as much as i love it i know that it's not everything there is you know life is a lot more than that and it's an infinitesimal part of who you are as a person and the truth is the things that actually affect your life don't have to do with that and um, I'm really hoping that my channel touches even if it's just one person I will be happy with that because I think that it's time that we start motivating each other and we start growing together I wanted to talk to you about something quite topical today and it is how to be a positive and effective person. Now, it's 2018 and I feel like, you know, you only have to turn on the TV or scroll through your feed to see negativity. I feel like there's so much negativity on the news and, you know, sometimes it's quite difficult to keep your positivity and you know to remain a positive person when everything you see around you is negative i feel like we have to be living purposefully you have to be intentional about staying positive and about being someone who is effective regardless of where you find yourself so here are five things you could do to help you stay positive number one mindset transforming your mindset so what is mindset um, in a very simple way of defining it is your approach to life your approach to situations so are you someone who sees the glass as half empty or half full when you're faced with a difficult situation what do you think do you think oh you know damnation or do you think this is an opportunity that presents itself i can turn this around in my favor and then some get it mindset how you see things now i also have to say guys you can't just wish things into being you can't just wish yourself into being positive there's a little bit of work to be done it's about making choices and changes that lead to your end goal and in that stead one thing I would say, guys, that is very important is keep negative people out of your life. Rid yourself of negative people, of negativity. I'm sure we all have that friend or person in our lives who just can't see anything positive in anything. You know, you come to them with good news and they're like, oh, you know, they just dampen it and they always have something with negative to say. You need to remove yourself from situations like that. And the truth is, you know, the more you surround yourself with negativity, the more negative you will become. It's, um, I liken it to, you know, uh, a situation where, let's say you had to lift a very heavy load and sort of carry it from point A to B. So initially you might think, oh yeah, that's fine. You know, it's, uh, it's not that heavy, I can handle this. But along the way, as the weight of that object starts to take its toll on you, eventually your body will give in and say, you know what, that was a bad idea, I can't do this anymore. Or I could liken it to a situation where you have two people and you put them in different rooms, isolated for about, you know, five to ten years. One of them you feed with negative news on a day-to-day -day basis and the other person is filled with light and life and positivity and positive news. What happens when they're both released? Who do you think is going to be more positive about life and have a can-do attitude and a positive outlook on everything? And it's the same thing with your mind. You need to really protect your mind and get rid of anything that stands in your way. And start to live purposefully. Number two. 
Number two, do. Now, all of you are watching me on some sort of a device, whether it's a mobile phone or a TV or a laptop or a computer, maybe even a wristwatch with the way technology is going now, right? And imagine if those creative minds behind these gadgets just thought of the ideas and never brought it to physicality. We wouldn't be here today. Imagine if Mark Zuckerberg decided that, oh, you know what? Facebook is such a great idea. And he went around with his head filled with ideas, but he never did anything about it. We probably wouldn't have Facebook. It's the same thing with doing. I believe that when you start doing something, or when you put your mind to a goal or a vision that you have, there's just this energy that comes out of you because you're working towards a goal and that sort of keeps you going on a day-to-day -day basis. And it could actually be a good distraction for you know whatever else might be going on in your life that's difficult. So, you know, I would really encourage you to set a goal for yourself if you don't have one, or if you have a goal, just day by day keep working towards achieving that goal and that's what keeps you positive because you have something and a very tunnel vision towards what you're doing you know start start your plans by writing it on paper you know put away a um you know a reasonably uh, realistic amount of money every month towards that goal and what you'll find is eventually the energy just starts bubbling up and you become a very positive person because you know that you're working towards something and you're not distracted by what's going on around you now you always have a reason to not do something i mean there'll always be a thousand reasons you say to yourself why you shouldn't do something why you shouldn't do you know i am not qualified enough i don't have the finances i'm not connected enough you know my network is very sparse whatever it is if there's one reason you should do something and it actually makes you happy do it don't hesitate do it Number three, stop comparing yourself to other people. I cannot stress this enough, and this is one of the downsides of social media. Stop comparing yourself to your friends or a stranger or people you see online. Look, every now and then we all wish we had something that someone else has. You know, that's healthy. I don't think um, there's anything particularly harmful about that. But the harm comes when you focus on that person, when you stalk that person's life and, you know, it depresses you and it starts to make you feel inadequate. It starts to make you not appreciate the things you have. We spend hours and hours, you know, brewing over other people's lives, what they have, you know, oh, she's got the perfect boyfriend, she has the perfect baby, he has the perfect house, she has the perfect career. He has the perfect car. Whatever it is, just stop comparing yourself to other people because we all have different journeys in life and we all have different paces at which we're meant to run our races. Do not sit there comparing yourself to someone else who, you know, the truth is we don't know what goes on behind closed doors, you know, and people, if they were to actually bring their struggles to you, if they were actually to open their lives up to you, you might be like, oh, actually, you know what? I think I'm okay. I don't want to have to struggle or I don't want to have to have gone through what it is that you went through. So sometimes we just have to put things in perspective and comparing yourself to that lady or that gentleman is not going to bring you their lives, guys. I am sorry to be the bearer of bad news. It's been tried, it's been tested, and I'm here to report you can't have their life. You have to work at your own and focus on your own goals. And it will happen, guys. Just keep having faith and keep working at it. It will happen. Number four, following on from my last point, stop thinking about what people will say or think about you or what you do. This is the one thing that gets a lot of us myself included for a long time i used to worry about being perfect well at least you know in my efforts being as perfect as possible you know i used to care so much about what people thought what people said do you realize that half the people that you sit there worrying about don't actually have their stuff together okay they are just as confused as you and they're still trying to navigate life just as you 
what value does worrying about getting someone else's approval, what value does that add to your life? I mean, how does it make your life better? It doesn't. At the end of the day, um, what people think about you really does not change your situation. You know, getting approval from someone, yeah, that's fine for as long as it lasts, but human beings can be quite fickle, guys. And, you know, today you might have someone who's all over you and approving of you. Tomorrow they might change their mind. So what do you do then? And you can't please everyone. So you might as well stop thinking about what everyone else thinks. Just block out people's thoughts and, you know, worrying about what they might say about you and just focus on you. Because you know what? It doesn't affect anything and it doesn't change anything you cannot live your life for someone else you cannot live your life trying to please someone else because it is futile and it's a waste of your time and your life when you're 80 you're not going to be thinking oh you know I'm so happy I lived my life for David between ages 25 and 30 or as a guy you're not going to be thinking oh I really hope Jenny is happy I lived my life for her Jenny and David might not even remember your name. So what's the point? You know, what's the point of getting yourself into this situation where you are hampered? Your growth is, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, th there's a stagnation in your growth. You know, your, your growth is dampened by someone else's thought about you. It doesn't change anything, guys. Stop caring about what people say. Or what people would think and just do it do you be happy if there's something that you're trying to do and you're thinking oh I'm not really sure what people will think about this or what their perspective about me might be who cares it really doesn't matter it doesn't change anything in your life so you might as well please yourself and be happy and do it number five being thankful for the positive things in your life being thankful for the good things in your life it is so easy guys on a day-to-day -day basis to forget how blessed you are to forget the good things in your life to not be appreciative of them i'm speaking from my personal experience now i have found that when i start to get a little bit down about you know whatever it might be a situation what helps me is taking a step back i actually consciously take a step back from time to time to just remember the good things in my life to compare myself today to where i used to be years ago and in fact this is um i guess in addition to the point i made earlier which is don't benchmark your life against someone else's benchmark it against yourself or you know upon yourself um, and i think that really helps but going back to my point about um, being thankful, when you start to think about all the positives in your life and how far you've come and how far God has blessed you, you know, and, and your journey, it just, it, it's very difficult to be negative in such a situation because you start to think about, you know, all the things that are going right in your life. And what you find is, you know, the gloom just lifts, you know, that veil of gloominess, just it just leaves. It's, it's very difficult to have darkness where there's so much light. So guys, just, you know, daily try to remind yourself of, of the good things in your life and try to stay positive that way, you know, try to appreciate those things. And this could be anything, guys. Be thankful for your family, be thankful for your career or your company, be thankful for your dog, your house, your car, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you know. Your baby whatever keeps you happy guys just try to always think about that you know meditate on good things on positive things and eventually you will get out of that dirt number six and this is the last one it's just an additional point praying Okay, I'm not trying to get religious, as some people might say. And guys, I don't mean a two-minute prayer, which is like, yeah, thank you. I mean, you know, just praying to God. If you feel negative or you're in a situation where it's just very difficult to be thankful or positive, I think really talking to God makes a difference. For me, I can speak personally. It, um... When I pray and I really petition God and I say, Lord, remember all your promises to me. Remember that you said you'll never leave me. And remember that the joy, you said your, that the joy of the Lord is my strength. 
Guys, it makes such a huge difference. And I start to feel day by day, I start to gather momentum. I start to feel more positive. So I would really encourage you to just, you know, speak to God. He's there. He's listening. And he really does make things happen. He really will bring to you that joy that you so desire. So I would really encourage you, you know, spend time talking to God. He's your father. He loves you. He wants you to be happy. Now, that's not to say that every now and then you won't feel a little down or a little desolate. It, you know, it happens. We're human beings, right? And nothing's perfect. But I think that the more you commune with God and the more you um, communicate with Him, the more you realize that there's just this joy that fills you from inside and nothing can steal that. Nothing can steal your joy. And I have to say that, you know, at times when I've been in a very funky mood and I pray, I just snap out of this zone of, um, you know, feeling sorry for myself or not being positive, you know, that, that whole negative feeling is just lifted and it leaves. And I think, you know, just give it a go. Pray and, and see what happens. And be very determined to not allow the things around you bring you down, not allow the things around you steal your joy. You know, be very determined about that. Guys, you know, I think that the world is just too messed up for us not to intentionally and consciously take hold of our lives and our destiny. A victor might get kicked, but he or she does not stay down. That's the difference between someone who is just defeatist and a victor. They get up and they get going, and that's what brings success. These were the steps that I took in my life on a day-to-day -day basis, and you know, which really helped me become more positive and live life fully and purposefully. I think that at this point in life, um, you just have to make things happen for you. You cannot sit around wishing positivity into existence. You have to actually take certain practical steps to get to where you want to be, as with anything in life. So guys, I really hope this has helped someone out there. I really hope that um, it's helped you at least begin your journey into being more positive about life and changing or transforming your outlook and um, living intentionally. Now, I would really love to hear from you guys. I would love to hear your thoughts and how you keep positive. You know, leave comments and leave suggestions in the comment section below. And um, yes, let's get a conversation going. And don't forget guys to like this video, share it, and please subscribe. It keeps me doing what I absolutely love doing and I cannot wait for my next video. I will see you guys soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead.